Show me how. All right, I'm gonna show you guys how to truss. Truss our prefab rafters that are manufactured per spec. And then you see they use these mending plates, truss plates that put two pieces of wood together or three. You can see on the outside, you have a 16 on center, basically like gable studs, two by six. You got your pitch, 24 on center. I'm using those TSDRs. These are truss spacers. If you use these, you don't have to block. I'm blocking, okay, we're blocking on the tails and the ends. Jason's over here on the high end, he's blocking. And we're just getting it all framed up right now. And then after that, we're gonna sheet, okay? So we stacked them up. These are about 70 pounds a piece. They're mono truss, meaning one-sided. The slope is on one side. And so I've just got them sitting over here. And Jay's, Jay's blessed me by coming out and work. He does a lot of motorcycle and automotive stuff. And uh, this is it, folks, so far. This is what it looks like. We're rolling them out. Pretty easy, actually. People try to make it a lot more difficult. And again, this is the tiny house. About a little under 400 square feet, kitchen window. These are the living room windows that your mattress is in your living room. But when you get to my age, who gives a rip? I'm done trying to please people. This is it. Beautiful sky, Spring Valley, 60 degrees, December, Central Arizona. All right, that's it for now, but don't go anywhere, because there's a lot more to see. Remember, I routed the windows. You see how clean they are? Yeah, a boy. Okay, folks, so this is what it's looking like. So I wanted you to see the outside, so you can just put these temp, temp, uh, locks up and then what I did was I put the plywood behind there because that's the thickness of the shear because I'm gonna have to continue the shear up all on the uh, truss here's the overhang it's very slight um, I am going to try to uh, I'm gonna box in underneath those and then I'll put some can lights up just a couple of them possibly uh, but I think I'll definitely box it and uh, that's it for now, folks. This is what it's looking like. I'm gonna start sheeting here soon. And that's what it looks like from the front. Again, the kitchen window and the door. True tiny house. Try to keep the balcony for the front entrance. That's all the pillars of comms. And then you can get a street view here check out that slope <clears throat> that one and a half per foot 16 foot leaves you with about two foot in the front <sighs> okay all right so just to be safe i got my buddy who's blessing me his blessings continue with the scaffolding that he got me so what i did was i snapped the line on the tails Okay, and I've cut, you can see the ends that are clean. So I've cut the second one all the way down to, I believe, probably around the sixth one. All right, snapped a line. You can see where the C's are, I've cut those. I'll finish tomorrow. So what you wanna do is you wanna snap a line all the way across so your fascia is good. Uh, it's nice and tight and it's pretty straight. So as you can see from about oh, here back, they need to be cut, but you can see where the C is. So where the C I've cut, and then these last ones I need to, to cut, and they should be good all the way, all the way across. All right, so this is what it looks like. Uh, the Amigo here. One of my helpers, he forgot to take a couple blocks off the siding, as in three. But this is what it looks like, folks. The overhang that I will soft it to put in some can lights. And um, 
we'll pick this up tomorrow. I'll show you those were all nailed off, those spacers, okay? All right, so here we go, we're starting to sheet. And so we're gonna stagger. What? Yeah, yeah, no, I'm just letting them know. Okay, so here's the sheeting. So we're gonna stagger. We got fascia up, clamped. Looks good, there's a little bump. 24 foot run. Hard, you know, when you have these long runs. That's why modern stuff is pretty tough to do. Um, but I wanted to add this to the to the uh, truss, a little bit of sheeting so you can have a little bit better concept of what's going on. So you have to stagger your ply or your OSB 5 8 perpendicular, staggered. This one's popped down, this one's staggered. Don't slide those that next one all the way to the end, Jay. Okay. So this third one where his foot is, is gonna be pulled back over here on the edge. And then you can just go with the same one down below, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, and uh, we're gonna leave it overhang cause we're gonna have to do the fascia on the sides after the shear and the siding. And then I want the fascia to go on top of it. Now we'll show you that in a different video. So this is it folks, it's trust. We got the fascia up on this side here. Okay, you can see it. It's all cut back. Two by eight, two by six rafters, AKA truss, which again, are just pre-manufactured with the men plates, truss plates, okay? Thank you for watching, show me how. Just show you how. Just roll some truss on a tiny house. Thank you for watching, subscribe, follow, disseminate, comment. Show me how.